Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new document in Adobe InDesign. Um, the first step is to set up your uh, project folder. So I'm going to my desktop, right click here, go to new folder. Uh, I'm going to call this brochure project 1. Then we're going to go inside this and right click and create another folder and call it pictures. All the pictures you're going to be using for um, this project must be saved inside this pictures folder. Uh, simply because InDesign does not embed pictures in a document and rather it links to the pictures. So the pictures are not inside the document and they're linked um, to wherever these pictures are saved. So it's a great idea to have them all in one place. So if you want to uh, move the um, document, you can just move the whole folder and you do not get missing file or missing images or missing link error. Now that we're set, we're going to go to InDesign. Uh, you are introduced to this um, get started page you can click on create new or for any reason if you do not have this um, a starter page or welcome page you can go to file new document here you have a um, new document page and you can, you have several options that we're going to go over um, there are a bunch of tabs here uh, let's go to print and we have a bunch of presets here we have letter size legal and tabloid size um, documents which are the standard print size document sizes. I'm going to click on letter but here on the right side I have something called PICUS. This is the measurement unit that is uh, used in publication design. If you're not comfortable with it or you're not familiar with it simply click on it and switch to inches. Okay now we have all the numbers in inches. Uh, width and height are 8.5 by 11. I have orientation which could be portrait or landscape. Then underneath I have facing pages. If you check that um, it basically creates spreads. Spreads are pages that are side by side. And um, I also have the page numbers. I would like to have four pages so I'm going to type four the first page I like to be numbered as number one so I'm going to leave that as is. Uh, you may have a column or not. Um, I am going to leave column one and also gutter. Um, gutter is the space between columns so for instance if I had two columns uh, that would be the space the gutter would be 0 0.1667 inches space between these two columns. I can just leave it as two so you can see the gutter as well. Uh, we also we also like to add some margins, so uh, we add 0 0.5 uh, inches of margin that will be included inside the document, and that is the safe zone that you will be creating your document. Uh, you will be creating your uh, project in. If you scroll down, um, you get to the bleed and slugs. Bleeds are the margins outside of the document, and if you click on the top arrow once it adds 0 0.125 an inch on four sides and this is the standard size for uh, bleeds. The slug is the um, area that will be added to the document if you wish to leave some notes, instructions for yourself, for your colleagues, for your print shop and it's not going to be printed, it is the area outside of the document. And not to forget, right on the top, um, you have the title of the document. At this point, it says untitled. I'm just going to call it pro brochure project one. So there you have it. Uh, we have eight and a half by eleven, four pages, facing pages. We have portrait, two columns with a gutter we have added margins of 0 0.5 inches, bleeds of 0 0.125 inch and I did not add any slug. I can do that if you wanted to see what it looks like. I can add 
uh, for instance in the bottom I can just click here a couple times or maybe four times so I have 0 0.5 inches for a slug only in the bottom so let's click on create and see what happens uh, this is our document you can scroll down to see all four documents so we have page one I'm going to zoom out a little bit you can use control minus for PC or command minus on Mac so you see page one two three and four the reason you see them this way is because this the number one is going to be front page number four is going to be the back page and also we have two and th three which are the middle pages uh, the middle pages as you see they're they're in a form of spread uh, they're connected to each other they're side by side you can you can look at those here as well under the pages panel I'm going to zoom in a little bit I'm going to pick up the zoom tool and zoom in on the first page so now you can see all the guidelines uh, this internal box that you see here is the margin whatever you do should be within this area for instance if you want to draw something you better keep it in this safe zone and not to exceed outside of the safe zone but if you happen to do so for instance if you want to have a box that goes all the way to the edge you bring it here you cannot leave that box there you have to stretch this all the way to the bleeding marks so that the print shops have a little bit of margin and error when they're cutting the edges so there you have it if you want to have something within the document and not touching the page sides make sure they sit inside the margins if you want to go outside you have to stretch it all the way to the bleeds and that happens to all corners for instance if if this is a box I would like to stretch it up outside of the margin top margin as well I have to do the same thing I have to stretch it all the way until it touches the top bleed as well I'm going to zoom out and go down here you see this bottom box that you see here or guideline um, this is the slug if you wanted to leave any note for yourself you can just do it here it will not be in the printed zone so there you have it uh, this is how to create a document in Adobe InDesign I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching